Yeah, thanks, Billy. It's time for a Pacific Rim report. And as Taiwan prepares for a critical presidential election, authorities there say that they have proof Beijing is ramping up spy efforts. In fact, at least 16 people have been accused of spying on behalf of China in the past year. Joining us now, we have John Hemmings, Senior Director at Pacific Forum. Morning, John. Morning. So uh, they've been spying on each other for decades, though. So why is it, why is it so big? Well, I think what's interesting is the Taiwanese themselves are starting to publish this. In the old days, they would sort of suppress it. It wasn't that big of a deal. A lot of the times, the spies themselves are Taiwanese nationals. They're from the Taiwanese military. They tended to be majors and colonels. But one, the intensity is, is, is ramped up. And two, the elections are coming up in January. And so I think the fact that they've gone public is perhaps pushback. Yeah. You've also mentioned uh, the lack of teeth within the rules regarding spying, especially in regards to the Taiwanese, right? Right. So there was a Colonel Liu Xiaoxing who got 20 years, 18, 18 years, which is about normal in Western countries. But there's a Colonel Chang who is uh, essentially air crew on uh, Songshan Air Command Base. He had information on, on the president's travel, Tsang Wen's travel. He got 18 months, which does not seem very prohibitive. And so I think there's still some voices inside Taiwan that want to push for more, you know, harder restrictions that make it really, um, make them an example. Yeah. Is the international community more concerned after seeing what happened with Ukraine? And then knowing what China has always talked about or hinted towards, and how far could China go? Of course. I mean, we've seen for the last two years a real ramping up of attention, thought, you know, especially here on island with our military forces, you know, we, the, the U.S. military, I think, and the U.S. government worry uh, openly and try to deter China from doing anything rash across the Taiwan Strait. Uh, you see a lot of diplomacy going that direction, but the spine also has been following a lot of military intrusions into Taiwanese airspace by the PRC. So it's that sort of ramping up that makes us worry that, you know, they have some plans as the Russians did with Ukraine. The U.S. has always had vocal support for, for Taiwan. How, how supportive are they, though? I mean, are they, are they willing to, to back them with their military? It's the choice of the president. It's above my pay grade. Uh, you know, the official position is that we, you know, we recognize China as, as China, but uh, that Taiwan, if there's to be any unification, it should happen peacefully. And I think that's a very nuanced, you know, we're not trying to stop Chinese nation from unifying, et cetera, but it has to be peaceful. And I think that's the problem with the PRC is they're just not that popular in Taiwan. And if you look at polls, young people are in Taiwan are increasingly motivated by Taiwanese identity, not Chinese identity. Yeah, John, very interesting. Thank, thanks for stopping by. Hey, thank I you. Appreciate it.